Well, you know, um, we evangelicals often have many conversions. And my first was, I was six years old and my parents were, well, they were worried about me because I was six, getting up in years, and I hadn't been saved yet. So we had a fiery evangelist come on a Sunday night, I'll never forget. And he, he preached, uh, all the unsaved kids had to sit in the first row. I think they thought, the closer you are to the sermon, the more impact will have on your life. So I sat there, and he pointed his finger. It seemed right at me. And he said, um, if Jesus came back tonight, your mommy and daddy would be taken to heaven, and you would be left all by yourself. Well, that got my attention. And I realized at six, I have a five-year-old sister to support. So I went to my mother, who was good at fixing things. But she told me not about the wrath of God, but the love of God for me, a little boy. God wants you to be his child. It sounded great. So I signed up. That was my first conversion. It wasn't deep, but it was real for a six-year-old. The second one, though, really had more impact. Now I'm 14, 15 in the city of Detroit a city torn apart by racial division, by white racism, really. And I wonder why I'd never heard anyone talk about that in the church. Uh, I heard there were black churches, we'd never been to one. Never had a black preacher, never had a black person come to our church. Why is it like this, I asked. Innocent 14-year-old questions. You're too young to ask those questions, I was told. When you get older, you'll understand. Or, we don't know why it's that way, but it's always been that way. Honest answer, I got one honest answer. It said, young men, you are uh, going to get into a great deal of trouble by asking these questions. And that proved to be true. So, I went into the city and I began to uh, understand uh, more about my world. And I met the black churches and they took me in. And I came back to my little church with new, new questions, new answers, and new friends. And they didn't like that very much. And uh, one night a church elder said to me, he said, uh, Jim, Christianity has nothing to do with racism. That's political. And our faith is personal. And that's the night that I left in my 15-year-old head and heart. And I was gone in a couple of years in the student movements of my generation. Came back to faith later, which is a different story. But the words I didn't have to go around the experience I do now, which is uh, God is personal, but never private. <laughs> personal, but never private. And this God wants relationship with us. Why? To sign us up for God's purposes in the world. And I've been trying to figure out what that means ever since. So that was my second kind of conversion. And I, I, I think Christian faith is... Uh, always uh, a matter of conversion. <laughs> we, we don't just get converted and we have to keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. Bono has a lovely line, he says, when they ask, are you a practicing Christian? The lead singer of U2, he says, well, I keep on practicing. <laughs> keep on practicing. So I like that I'm a practicing Christian. Keep working at it.